This week, 14-year-old Ahmed Mohammed left his high school in handcuffs after his English teacher mistook his homemade clock for a bomb. Yikes. But this isn't an isolated incident. Islamophobia happens all over the United States and around the world. Ahmed's story is just another reminder of how difficult life is for Muslim Americans post 9-11. Pew reports show that one in three Muslim Americans are singled out for TSA screenings every year. And according to the ACLU, Muslim women in the US are more likely to encounter discrimination if they wear a hijab. Would Ahmed's homemade clock been seen as a bomb if his name was Adam? Probably not. Across the country and around the world, too many people assume that Muslims are automatically worthy of suspicion or inherently dangerous. So let's go ahead and knock that stereotype flat on its face. Here are four reasons that you don't need to be afraid of Muslims. Islam is the world's second largest religion. In 2010, they made up 23% of the world's population. So if they were really all bomb-making terrorists, we'd be in big trouble, but they're not, which is why we're all fine. Islam is a peaceful religion. It's not full of terrorists like TV and movies will have you believe. The word Islam means surrender, and it's related to the Arabic word for peace. You've also probably heard jihad thrown around in the news, but it's 100% not about violence. It doesn't mean holy war, it actually means struggle, as in it can be a struggle to stay true to your religious beliefs and do the right thing. Jihad absolutely is not about going to war with other religions, and anyone who says otherwise is just wrong. Osama bin Laden, Al-Qaeda, and ISIS don't represent all Muslims. The same way the Westboro Baptist Church, who angrily pickets gay weddings and funerals, doesn't represent all Christians. There are extremists in every religion. You can't judge the whole group by the bad actions of a few. Since September 11th, more people have been killed in the US by white supremacists, anti-government fanatics, and other non-Muslim groups compared to Muslim extremists. So this fear of Muslim terrorist threat here in the US is kind of irrational. Ahmed's story is so upsetting because even a scrawny 14-year-old kid who loves science can't escape the stigma that comes along with his name and religion. There are almost three million American Muslims, each with their own stories and identities. They deserve to be seen as individuals instead of whatever stereotype you've seen on your TV screen. So what do you think it'll take to change the average American's perception of Muslim people? Tell us in the comments, and we will see you next week with another mini episode of Decoded.